Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Somos Biology. In this video, we are going to talk about another biology math problem. Series ki video hai, isme baat karenge bacterial growth problems. So bacterial growth problems are another favorite problems for CSI NET, GATE and ICMR to ask questions. Yahan se questions aata hai, simple se question aata hai ke bacterial growth kisi sahab se ho raha hai, ya fir the question will be from the serial dilution. So we will solve two sample problems, one from the bacterial growth, another one from the serial dilution. So let's start <coughs> solving the question. The first question we have is regarding the doubling time calculation. Sabse zyada isi prakar ka question aata hai exam mein, jab doubling time calculate karna padta hai aapko. A bacterial strain has a doubling time of 20 minutes. If you start with a population of 500 bacteria, how many bacteria will be present after 2 hours? बहुत सिंपल सा सवाल है अ बैक्टीरियल स्ट्रेन जो कि डबलिंग टाइम है उसका 20 मिनट में वो डबल होता है इफ यू स्टार्ट विद अ पॉपुलेशन ऑफ 500 बैक्टीरिया 500 इंडिविजुअल 500 बैक्टीरिया से स्टार्ट कर रहे हो जो हर एक 20 मिनट में डबल हो रहा है तो टोटल 2 घंटे बाद कितना बैक्टीरिया हो जाएगा जब 500 से स्टार्ट होता है तो एक से स्टार्ट होता है तो तो पता चलता है सो फ्रॉम इफ इट स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम 1 देन इट विल बी लाइक 2 इन 20 मिनट्स 4 इन नेक्स्ट 40 मिनट्स सो 8 इन 60 मिनट्स लाइक दैट so this is the idea, right? So the doubling time here it's provided doubling time. The doubling time provided to be 20 minutes here. Okay. The second part is the population start, the initial phase. Usko hum n number se pukarte, right? So n the initial number is 500 bacteria. 500 bacteria is the initial number. How many bacteria will be produced after two hours? The total time here is a two hours, right? That is 120 minutes because we have the doubling time in minutes. So we need to also count everything in minutes. So 2 hours means 120 minutes. 120 minutes hota hai 2 ghanda. So you have to calculate karna hai ki kitna bacteria anth mein maujud hoga. Okay. So remember one thing that the bacteria is doubling every 20 minutes. Right. Every 20 minutes. So how many times the bacteria will get doubled? How many times it will get doubled? The bacteria will get doubled 120. The total time is 120. The total time. So what we do? The total time divided by the doubling time. Isse hume fraction pata chal jayega ki kitne bar division ho raha hai. How many times the bacteria gets divided? How to know that? The total time divided by the doubling time. The total time was 120 minutes. Doubling time is 20 minutes. So the number of division. उस दौरान कितने बार डिवीजन होगा बैक्टीरिया का दैट इज 6 टाइम्स सो द बैक्टीरिया गेट्स डिवाइडेड 6 टाइम्स फॉर दैट टाइम फ्रेम 6 बार बैक्टीरिया डिवाइड करेगा एक से दो ये एक बार हो गया दो से चार और एक बार सो देयर विल बी 6 टाइम्स डिवीजन लाइक दैट सो टोटल 6 टाइम अ डिवीजन इज पॉसिबल बाय द बैक्टीरिया एट दिस फ्रेम वेयर द टोटल टाइम इज 120 मिनट्स द डबलिंग टाइम इज 20 मिनट्स सो टोटल 6 टाइम्स नाउ for 6 times, how many bacteria can be produced from one bacteria, right? If we start the journey from one bacteria, so in 20 minutes, in 20 minutes, it becomes 2, right? In another 20 minutes, the 2 becomes 4. So this is the regular process of division. So aise karte karte 6 bar division hoga. So for each division, uh, 2, like the bacteria doubles in number. So for 6 times, the bacterial total number of bacteria will be produced is 2 to the power 6. 2 to the power 6. This is the formula 2 to the power n. n is the number of times the bacteria divide. Right? So here 2 to the power n, n value is 6. We already counted the n value. So putting the value is 2 to the power 6. So if the bacterial journey started from one bacteria, then division is 2 to the power 6. This is when we started with one bacteria. Okay? But in the question, it stated that we started with 500 bacteria, not one bacteria. So instead of one, we started with 500 bacteria and the growth is 2 to the power 6. So 500 multiplied by 2 to the power 6. So that will be 30, 32,000, not 16,000, 32,000. None of the options uh, were actually correct of 16,000. I thought it was there, but actually it is 32,000. 32,000 should be the correct answer. The, the process is the same. I miscalculated here. 2 to the power 6 is 64, right? Into 500. So that gives us 32,000. So the net number of bacteria that will be produced here is 32,000. 32,000 
bacteria that will be produced here. 32,000. Uh, answer mein option mein nahi hai, but let's put it there because uh, question mein aisa nahi hai. 32,000 is the correct answer. That's how you solve these questions, okay? Alright, so let's uh, move on to the next category of question. And next category of question is basically serial dilution problem. Bacterial colony count and serial dilution problem. A scientist dilutes a bacterial sample 1 is to 10,000 and plates 1 ml of it. After incubation, they count 250 colonies. What was the original concentration of bacteria per milliliter in that sample? So this is a typical serial dilution problem. In serial dilution problem, uh, you need to be very sure that the serial dilution that was done in a plate and the sample that you are obtaining at the end ends in same volume and in this case the volume is 1 milliliter so the, the amount is same. If it was not the same then we need to adjust this value but it is provided that the serial dilution was done 1 to the 10,000 plate of 1 ml and also you need to find out the original concentration in 1 ml. So we are in the same page, right? If it's not the case, if it's not the case, we have to convert it in 1 ml, then we can understand the rest of the things. But here, there was a serial dilution in 1 ml, 1 ml was taken, and we have to know that the original concentration in 1 ml is how much it is. So, both are in 1 ml, so there is no big problem for that. Okay? So, if that is the case, 1 is to 10,000, 1 is to 10,000, you know 1 is to 10,000 here, 1 is to 10,000, ये सीरियल डाइल्यूशन था, राइट? सो दैट मींस इफ वी स्टार्टेड विथ 250 कॉलोनीज, 250 कॉलोनीज एंड इट वाज डाइल्यूटेड दैट 10,000, 1 इस्टू 10,000 मींस द सीरियल डाइल्यूशन इफ यू रिकॉल द वैल्यू ऑफ द आइडिया ऑफ सीरियल डाइल्यूशन, 1 इस्टू 10,000 मींस डाइल्यूशन कितना किया गया? एक भाग ऑफ बैक्टीरिया जो मीडिया सब्सट्रेट यहाँ पे, so one is to ten thousand, so दस हजार से सिंपल मल्टिप्लिकेशन करेंगे, we'll do the multiplication of the total count of the colony two fifty into the total dilution factor that is ten thousand, so two fifty into ten thousand two five zero 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 zero, यहाँ पे one two three four five five zeros will be there after twenty five, and that's what we get as the number of bacteria in colonies, like this is uh, what we got, right? Or if we convert it, we convert it, that, that many bacteria, like 25, then 5 zeros out afterwards, that many bacteria per milliliter, and that is nothing but 2.5 million bacteria. So, it can be represented as 2.5 million bacteria, and that is present per milliliter of uh, the sample originally because we started with one milliliter uh, idea here at the beginning the dilution was done for one milliliter and what we got here as a concentration of bacteria is a result is also in milliliters so we get our answer 2.5 uh, million bacteria per milliliter that's how easy it is to solve this kind of serial dilution problems right magar yahan pe agar kaha jata ki yahan pe 1 million ke 1 milliliter ke jagah 10 milliliter pe tha to wahan pe aapko calculate karna tha what is the answer in 1 milliliter and in that sense you need to count out to generally aise problems complicate karne ke liye unit conversion kabhi kabhi diya jata hai so you need to also think of that as well but in this case there was no unit conversion provided you can directly straight ahead answer the question okay so that's the category of question you will get uh, from this particular topic. So, if you want to practice more of this cell biology problems uh, related to the bacterial growth curves, uh, we have the bacterial growth curves problems uh, and not only bacterial growth curves but there are also other problems related to cell biology and molecular biology which you will get here, cell and molecular biology problems and uh, some more problems. Uh, this is the addition to, new, in new edition we are adding some more problems from this particular chapter where you'll get a QR code to scan and watch the video regarding how to answer these kind of questions. So you can get it from our biomath handbook if you like to get it.